All right. Next up, please welcome SOP Notify, presenting our Tokes Ogun and Lola De Baba Lola. Hi, Disrupt. My name is Tokes, and we're SOP Notify. We provide real-time power outage notifications. Now, most of you experience power outages like this. We know how much that sucks when you can't charge your phone when you're out. And if you've been to South by Southwest, you've seen a charging station like this. Hence the ABC mantra, always be charging. Now, power is important, not just so you can play Angry Birds on your iPhone, but it's important because businesses need it. Grocery stores need it so they can keep our food fresh. Tech companies need it so they can keep their servers running. And Muni needs it so it can get you to work. Now, a former governor was fired partially because one million citizens experienced rolling blackouts. Now, contrast that with 175 million Nigerians experience blackouts every day. And it's not just the poor, it's not just the middle class, but it's the rich as well. Now, 15 years, after 15 years of blackouts, there were calls for um, no more blackouts in the 80s. But 25 years later, blackouts continue. So that's over 40 years of blackouts. And even with privatization, the issues continue. So let's look at, have, um, let's look at some of the infrastructure. Look at how bad this is. This is really bad infrastructure. Services that were supposed to supply 50 homes is now supplying over 500. And if you wanted to make a complaint, this is probably what you'd have to face. Now let's look at what businesses have to go through just so they can get power. Look at this. Now it costs four times the amount to run a backup generator than it costs to get power from the grid. So you can imagine what that does to revenue and how it undercuts it. But imagine what businesses could adapt to with a little more predictability. I know when I moved to Nigeria, I was surprised that we had to run a massive generator just so that we can power our laptops. But let me go ahead and tell you a story about Victoria. Victoria is a customer service agent, and she has no idea what's waiting for her when she gets home. When she gets home, if there's no power, she can't cook, she can't charge her phone, she can't um, iron her clothes, she can't run her air conditioner, and she definitely can't watch Game of Thrones. Yes, Game of Thrones is popular in Nigeria as well. So we created SOP Notify. It's a software and hardware platform where we take low-cost Android phones just like this and we turn them into power sensors to let our users know when there's power available in their community. So typically in the field, we'd plug one of these into our proprietary case as well as circuit board and we install this. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and just plug this up. So if we could switch over to the ammo. So here, Victoria's gonna go ahead and follow a location. All right, she's gonna follow where her house is, and she's gonna follow another sensor where her best friend lives. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and simulate the power being restored. Now she'll get a push notification that the power has been restored. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and simulate a power outage. Now she'll get another uh, push notification that the power has been taken. So what's she gonna do now? Now Victoria can go and she can look through her timeline of current and past push notifications about power and see if um, her friend Mary has power. So on the way to Mary's house, she notices that there's a down power line. So right within the app, she can go ahead and report that to the power company and then they can go ahead and have that resolved. Now for our users that don't have smartphones, they can use our platform using SMS as well. So let's go ahead and switch back to the presentation. Now our main customers are the power companies, and they can use our platform to communicate directly with their customers. And we'd like to announce that we're running a pilot with the Bottom Power Company, and they provide power for four states in Nigeria. But besides the power companies, we're also looking at how we can have our users pay for their power bills as well as receive their power bills within the app. And of course, there's a data play as well. Now, the electricity market in Africa is a $27 billion market, and they're only producing 50% of the power that people actually need. They can't build power plants fast enough to meet the demand. So now let's look at mobile phones. In the next five years, there will be over 1 billion mobile phones in Africa alone, and 600 million of those will be smartphones. And each one of those users experiences power outages every day. And so that's why we believe that SOP Notify will become the number one power communications platform in Africa. So go to sopnotify.com to find out more. All right. 
Judges. So how, this is obviously an important problem for folks every day uh, across Africa. Tell us a little bit more about your business model and, and how, to, how to make it into a business. Okay, we have a business model where we charge the power companies a subscription fee based on the number of their users that are on our platform. And what's the value proposition to them? The value proposition to them, one, is that they can communicate cost effectively with their consumers, because right now there's not a cost effective way that they can actually reach their consumers. Typically when they send bills out to the consumers, it's hand delivered, not even by the postal service. And what do they have right now in terms of customer support for people when they're, I'm sure they're calling to say, when's the power gonna come back on? Uh, typically you'd have to go down to your local office and stand in line for maybe about an hour or so just to make a complaint. And um, when you developed this, uh, did you work with the power companies to, to understand um, what the, the typical issues are beyond what people see? There are, there are obviously things more than just down power lines, right? Yes. We spoke with um, different uh, party players in the power industry, and they, we've learned exactly what the issues are, but they haven't done a good job of talking about those issues to the end consumer. So we help them do that as well. And what's to keep the power companies from deciding, if you are successful, right. from deciding we can do this ourselves? Well, their infrastructure challenges are their main concern. And that's probably going to take them probably about 15 to 20 years to sort out. So we don't think that they'll enter our market. Mm -hmm. But the power companies, they feel incentivized. They feel like they have an added benefit in being able to use a service like yours. Meaning, like, if you didn't exist, would it change Aside from ideally you want to provide service and do it well, but would it change for them if you didn't exist? Would they be forging ahead business as usual and not really caring? Uh, their stance right now is that because the part of the um, industry was just privatized, so that you do have these new companies that now have to deal with the regulator as far as uh, consumer um, service standards and different things like that. So our service is um, one solution to help them address their customers and let them know that Yes, we are um, building out our infrastructure. It's going to take some time, but we're providing you information so you can kind of plan your day. Yeah, light bulb for power. Yeah, no power. All right. <laughs> and ultimately, is there any element of somehow making the infrastructure better? Meaning, you guys are providing a tool that can communicate when there is and there isn't. But then there was that slide you had, which was one massive mess of of cables and you got the other slide of all the generators on the ground and powering everything. Is there like an ultimate goal somewhere in the end to be able to have more reliable and consistent power in places like Nigeria? Yes, there are plans to do that and they are making investments, but because of the size of the projects, it takes, the timelines are very long. So like I said, we're looking at between 15 and 20 years just to um, get us to like stable power supply. And how many partners are there? Is it just one? Is there, how many potential partners are there in your in uh, Nigeria? There are seven new power companies in Nigeria. Okay, and have, so in your dialogue with them, has anybody, you know, is, are you working with anyone yet? In a, yeah, we're working with the Ibadan Power Company and they um, supply power in four states in Nigeria. Okay, and are they paying you? Uh, we're running a pilot with them later this month. Okay. <laughs> but we have talked about um, revenue models and they're open to that. And how many people do they serve? They have two million customers. And then how much, um, how much do you think they would pay you per, per customer? Uh, we're looking at charging them 20 cents per user per year. Okay. Got it. Do you, do you have any competitors that are doing similar things with other power companies? Uh, no, we don't. Okay. So how do you scale this beyond the 2 million and how do you scale it beyond Nigeria? Uh, scaling it beyond Nigeria, initially we work with our smart sensors that we install on our own in different cities. So that kind of gets us um, receiving the information. And then we partner with the uh, power companies so that they can get on our platform and also push out information. So what we would do typically to um, expand to a new market is go and initially install maybe about 20 sensors in a popular city to kind of get our users getting the information. And then once we have a large user base, we then contact the power company and then work with them. Is there something else consumers can do besides just reporting a problem? Is there anything else they can do to alleviate this? Is there, are there power surges? Are there moments where 
there are too many people doing X, Y, or Z where, where communicating with a large group of people could actually solve a problem? That's part of what our, the power companies could use our platform to do, is to communicate kind of like a power alert saying there are a lot of people using a lot of heavy appliances, so if we could conserve some energy, we wouldn't have to cut the power. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? All right, you guys did a great job. That was SOP Notify.